हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शैल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल द इंपल्स रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए लीनियर टाइम इनवेरिएंट सिस्टम इज हेच ऑफ एन व्हिच इज गिवन एज वन टू वन माइनस वन डिटरमाइन द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सिस्टम टू द इनपुट सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ एन व्हिच इज गिवन एज वन टू थ्री वन द टास्क इज आई नीड टू फाइंड वाई ऑफ एन व्हिच इज नथिंग बट द कन्वोल्यूशन सम फॉर दिस वी हैव द फॉर्मूला वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू समेशन एन इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एक्स ऑफ के हेच ऑफ एन माइनस के सो नाव लेट मी स्केच एक्स ऑफ के हेच ऑफ एन इज गिवन इफ आई चेंज Uh, the uh, variable n to k, I would get h of k, and if I change here n with k, I would get x of k. First, let me sketch x of k. One, two, three, one. That means at the zeroth position, its amplitude is one. At the position one, its amplitude is two. At the position two, its amplitude is three, and at the position three, its amplitude is one. This is x of k. So now the task is to sketch h of k. Here an arrow mark is given. That means this is the value. Two is the value at the position zero, and uh, what is the value at uh, minus one? At the at the position minus one, its amplitude is one, which is sketched over here. At the position one, its amplitude is one, and at the position two, its amplitude is minus one. So now we have sketched x of k and h of k, but in the formula i need h of n minus k so how do i sketch h of n minus k that means i need to sketch the reflected version of h of k so let me consider x axis and y axis here what i am going to do is i am going to sketch the reflected version so this i am going to call this as the signal is nothing but h of n minus k which is sketched with respect to k so if i sketch the reflected version of that what do i get the negative limits would become positive limits and positive limits would become negative limit here we have 1 2 and here i would get minus 1 minus 2 at the position minus 1 its amplitude is 1 and at the position minus 2 i am going to get this as minus minus 1 is that fine Yes. What is there at the zeroth position? At zeroth position, its amplitude is two, and it still remains as two only. And at the position plus one, its amplitude is going to be one. Yes, I am done. So let me just write these things. This is zeroth position. This is one. This is minus one, and this is minus two. So let me just write sketch uh, the amplitude. This is one, two, one. Minus one. So now, let me vary the limit. So what I do now uh, initially is let me put n is equal to zero. So what happens if I put n is equal to zero? For n is equal to zero, if I do that, I am going to get y of zero. So in this formula, I am going to put n is equal to zero. So what I am going to get? I am going to get the product of x of k and h of minus k. So just have to multiply and add up the things at the position minus 2 here its amplitude is minus 1 but here i do not have anything if i multiply i would get 0 at the position minus 1 its amplitude is 1 and here i do not have anything and it is turns it turns out to be 0 at the position 0 its amplitude is 1 at the position 0 its amplitude is 2 so what should i do i have to multiply 1 with 2 so let me write 1 into 2 correct i need to add this why i should add because there is a summation i need to add with the next one what is the next one at the position 1 its amplitude is 2 at the position 1 its amplitude is 1 so i i need to multiply 2 into 1 so what i am going to get ultimately i would be getting y of 0 is equal to 2 plus 2 which turns out to be 4 so this is one of the output samples is that fine similarly i need to keep varying h of n minus k just keep shifting this to the extreme right as well as to the extreme left so that i would get non zero values so uh, let me now uh, uh, vary n so what should i do now i would put n is equal to 1 so for n is equal to 1 what is going to happen i would get h of 1 minus k so let me just get 
x axis and uh, y axis here and let me sketch the signals so i am going to shift this signal by 1 first let me write the limits so what are the, they going to be they are going to be minus 1 0 1 2 so this is where the signal is going to exist and what are the amplitudes they remain the same as they were earlier this is 1 the sorry minus 1 at the position next position I have uh, plus 1 and then I have uh, plus 2 so everything is getting shifted by one position and then I have 1 so this uh, signal now I am going to call this as H of 1 minus K are you following this with the limit with the variable k so this is minus 1 amplitude this is plus 1 this is 2 and this is 1 is that fine so what should I do now I have to again consider multiplying hex of k with h of n minus k so what what I'm going to get now so now y of 1 is equal to at the position uh, minus 1 this signal does not exist though it is there I'm still going to get it as 0 only so now I have to consider at the position 1 at the position 0 so at the position 0 it is 1 into 1 which turns out to be 1 plus at the position 1 which is 2 into 2 that turns out to be 4 and then I have at the position 2 3 into 1 it turns out to be 3 so ultimately what I'm going to get I'm going to get y of e of 1 as 8 is that fine so let me put this in a box so this is what did I say y of 1 similarly uh, moving further so now I will make for n is equal to 2 what is going to happen now I'll consider this signal and I'll shift this by one more time either I have to consider h of k shift it twice or consider h of 1 minus k just shift it one time so that I am going to get uh, let me consider here yes so I am going to get over here h of 2 minus k with respect to k what will be the limits now the signal is going to start from 0 1 2 and 3 and uh, what is the signal the same shape the shape of the signal remains same this is minus 1 and this is uh, plus 1 this is 2 and this is going to be plus 1 again so just let me write the amplitude minus 1 1 2 1 so now if I multiply I'm going to get multiply and add I'm going to get y of 2 at the position 0 I do I have minus 1 here and at the position x of k which is 1 1 into minus 1 in that way I have to proceed further at the position yes that means I need to consider 1 into minus 1 so let me consider uh, writing that y of 2 is equal to 1 into minus 1 plus what is there at the position 1 if I go up and check it is 2 so now 2 into 1 so let just me consider uh, 2 into 1 let me write it as uh, 2 and similarly moving further at the position 2 the next value at the position 2 it is 3 3 into 2 I'm going to get 6 and lastly at the position 3 I have 1 1 into 1 I'm going to get 1 so in that way if I calculate I'm going to get y of 2 is equal to minus 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 turns out to be 8 so again uh, let me put this in a box so in this way I get the second coefficient the third output coefficient y of 2 so moving further for n is equal to 3 so if I do for n is equal to 3 if I shift this for uh, by one more uh, position what I'm going to get so let me consider the x-axis and y-axis here shift this signal by one more position I'm going to get h of 3 minus k so let me write the same h of 3 minus k 
so this would start from 1 2 3 and 4 and the shape of the signal would remain the same this is minus 1 and this is a plus 1 and this is a plus 2 and this is plus 1 so let me write the amplitudes here Ma this I said uh, minus 1 1 2 1 so now I can get the output y of 3 what is that equal to at the 0th position h of 3 minus k is 0 and though x of k is uh, 1 I'm going to get 1 into 0 as 0 at the position 1 here I have minus 1 x of k is uh, 2 so I'm going to get uh, 2 into minus 1 so let me write it as minus 2 similarly so let me write it clearly minus 2 similarly the next one at the position 2 this is 1 and what is there at the position 2 x of k uh, which is 3 so I'm going to get 3 into 1 which turns out to be 3 are you following me so I'm going to get plus 3 so next position at the position 3 its amplitude is a 2 so what is there up x of k at the position 3 this is 1 1 into 2 I'm going to get it as 2 so are you getting this so hence I'm going to get y of 3 is equal to 3 so in this way I get the next coefficient so let me put this also in a box so this I'm going to get to call it as uh, y of 3 similarly I have to vary I have to put n is equal to 4 so what is going to happen now so let me again consider x-axis and uh, y-axis over here and uh, let me call this as h of 4 minus k so what it gets shifted uh, b uh, with respect to the previous signal by 1 so now I'm going to get this as 2 3 4 5 this is the time so this is with respect to k so how does the signal look like the shape of the signal would still remain the same this is minus 1 this is a plus 1 and this is a plus 2 and this would be 1 so let me write the same thing I said this is minus 1 1 2 1 so let me consider multiplying these two things so that I would get a y of 4 so what would be y of 4 if I consider that at the position 2 this is minus 1 and at the position uh, 2 that is 3 3 into minus 1 I'm going to get minus 3 at the position 3 this is 1 and if I go up and check at the position 3 that is 1 so 1 into 1 I'm going to get it as 1 plus 1 so at the position 4 the signal is 2 but this signal does not exist hence it stops so minus 3 plus 1 I'm going to get y of 4 as minus 2 so again just let me put this also in a box and sorry and this I'm going to call it as the next output coefficient y of 4 similarly uh, let me now consider n is equal to 5 so let me sketch let me consider sketching that in this position just let me draw a straight line over here yes here I'm going to sketch I'm going to get the x-axis and y-axis this signal I'm going to call this as h of previously I had 4 minus k so now I'm going to get phi u minus k h of phi u minus k which is nothing but this 4 minus k would get shifted by 1 2 to phi u where the limit now they become 3 to 6 are you are you okay with this so it's I said 3 4 phi u 6 so this is where the signal exists and what is that signal we know it well this is minus 1 this is plus 1 this is 2 and this is 1 correct so let me write the same thing this is minus 1 1 2 1 so now I'm going to get y of 5 what is y of 5 at the position 3 the signal is minus 1 this is 1 1 into minus 1 turns out to be minus 1 at the position 4 onwards x of k does not exist hence 
the process stops here which is y of 5 so now can I consider for n equal to 6 I would get y of 6 if I do that this signal would get shifted by one more position but uh, in that region uh, x of k does not exist hence everything turns out to be 0 so I need to stop this at this point of time but do I have to consider shifting this signal to the left as well yes still I get non-zero values so what I do now is for n is equal to minus 1 so I have h of n minus k here so shift this signal to the left by one position so let me consider x-axis and y-axis and uh, this signal now I'm going to call this as h of minus 1 minus k is that okay so I said shift this signal to the left by one more position that means it becomes minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 this is 0 and this is 1 is that correct no it stops at the zeroth position here only yes so now let me sketch this is minus 1 this is plus 1 and at the position here this is plus 2 and here it is 1 correct let me write the same thing this is minus 1 1 2 and 1 so if I multiply now so I'm going to get y of minus 1 if I multiply and add at the position x of k x of k if I consider it exists only at zeroth position amplitude is 1 and its amplitude is 1 1 into 1 I'm going to get 1 as the answer so this is the next coefficient output coefficient so can I shift this one more position can I call it as uh, for n equal to minus 2 if I do that this gets shifted uh, to the left by one more position in that region x of k does not exist and if I do that I'm going to get the answer as 0 at this position I have to stop and I have to sum it up and write the final output y of n what is that equal to be it starts with minus 1 position the amplitude is 1 and what is there at 0th position at 0th position its value I got it as 4 right 4 and then I have got 8 8 and what was the next answer next sample 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and its last sample uh, last two samples are minus 1 yes last sample is minus 1 correct yes and I would draw sketch an arrow mark for this that means this is the value at zeroth position so I can find the number of samples present in the output sequence that is x of n length of x of n plus length of h of n minus 1 so this is 4 plus 4 8 minus 1 that means 7 7 samples I should have at the output sequence here I can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means my answer is correct so in that way in that way I can check the length of the output sequence y of n yes this is the numerical on convolution sum and I have explained this very much step by step and I hope you people have understood if still there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching